Hi folks, today I'm going to be showing you how you can install the Satsuki Yatoshi mod or SYW mod for short for Final Fantasy 7. Now the mod has been recently updated and it's effectively a complete remastering of the original game. Now I'm going to be using 7th Heaven to do this and if you're not familiar with the 7th Heaven mod manager then I would encourage you to check it out. I'm going to leave a link up here, a card link so that you can see my previous tutorial on how to do that. So we're going to be focusing on the mod itself for today and in a nutshell the mod will update many areas of the game including the background art, the battlefields, it just upscales them to make them look you know, far more crisp for our current era. And also the world map, the magic effects, animations, mini games. This is all coming from the official mod description. Along with the menus, the text and even the pre-rendered cinematic videos as well. So as I say, it is the complete package. So I hope the video helps you out folks. And don't forget if you want more Final Fantasy content, please do subscribe to my channel. I've already got hundreds of videos out there for you with lots more planned and on the way. So let's get started with the tutorial. Here begins the tutorial. So you're going to want to head over to the Kim forums and I'll leave a link in the video description to all of the downloads. And you're going to want to download the actual mods themselves. Now because I'm going to be using 7th Heaven, I'm going to click one of these links here to get the files, the IRO files. If you're using the all-in-one installer and you're not going to be using any of the mods, then you can of course go that route by selecting one of those files. And by the way, tutorial for using the auto installer. Yeah, very easy, just do that. But for 7th Heaven, it is a little bit more complicated, unfortunately. So once we've got these 7th Heaven files, we're going to also download an updated driver, which is going to be linked in the description as well. And you want to make sure that you get the 1998 version. See how there's a couple of versions here? Even if you have, say, the Steam version of the game, you don't want to be using that because 7th Heaven would have patched your game to the 1998 version. So this is the zip file that you want. And once you've downloaded these, you'll want to extract them. So these are the IROs, all nicely extracted. And this is the game driver, also nicely extracted. At this stage, you should have everything downloaded and unzipped. So the IRO files, which come in at a hefty 24 gigabytes once they've been decompressed, putting Final Fantasy VII on equal footing with a modern game. And then we have the FF7 NX driver files themselves for 7th heaven okay right let's bring in the next window here we've got the game folder and the first thing we're going to do is make sure we've made a backup file of the ff7 nx.dll which you can see i've done here by simply adding dot bak onto the end of it okay so we're going to be copying a new dll file in here and we don't want to overwrite the original in case we want it back next window to bring in is the 7th heaven folder so just go to your 7th Heaven install, select the resources folder, and we're going to make a backup of the entire game driver folder. So again, if you have any issues with this setup, you can just re uh, resort back to the backups and at least everything should be working again. So we'll just make a backup. I don't like the name copy though. Let's change that to backup. There we go. Hey, okay, some British spelling for you. And now we're going to actually copy the new files into place. Back to our downloaded files and opening up this folder here, we're going to first of all edit the .toml file. Okay, so we're just going to open that in Notepad. You might have to select Notepad if it doesn't recognize the file type. And we're just going to search for animated underscore textures here. Say so scrolling to the place that we need to be. And we're going to change the false to true. You don't need a capital actually, I don't think it matters, but we're going to save that file now. And then we're going to copy the whole lot. There we go, get rid of you, don't want you anymore. Back in our resources folder here in 7th Heaven, we're going to go to our game driver folder. And then just paste into here and replace as necessary. Boing, get rid of you, don't want you anymore. Back to our Final Fantasy 7 game folder. And in the actual main folder itself, we're going to right click and select paste in here as well replace as necessary hence the reason why it's important to make those backups and there we go now we've got the game and seventh heaven set up we just need to get the mods installed 
With 7th Heaven open, you can see I've already got some mods installed. That's nothing to do with what we're installing today. But because we've made changes to the files and the game driver, before we do anything else, we are just going to check that the game still loads, that it still runs as expected. Because we don't want to install mods, find out something's not working, and then not know whether it's the mods or the file changes we made. So every time you make changes, always just test the game. So if anything does go wrong, you can isolate the problem. Looks like everything's okay though. I'll just go ahead and load a random save file here. Yep, looks like we're still working. That improved field model, by the way, is from another mod that I currently have installed. Okay, super, let's go ahead and close the game. You might want to give it a bit of a longer test just to make sure, but, you know, I want to keep things moving here. So what we're going to do now is go and add the new mods. So we're going to select the import mod from over here. Now you have different options. But I always find that from folder and batch import never seem to work as expected. So I'm going to do these individually. And that means I'm going to select from IRO file. Select the little icon there. And then go to where it is you've got the mods extracted to. And let's start, shall we, with a nice small one just to test things out. So let's go for menu and fonts. One that we can easily see if it's all set up correctly. So, as I've mentioned before, but I will mention for the purposes of this video, your mobbed, uh, mod order list here actually matters. Now, I don't think it matters for menu and fonts because I don't have any other mods that affect this part of the game. But I'm going to move this to the top regardless. And then we're going to go ahead and select play to see if this mod has installed correctly. And if it has, we'll know things are working and then we can perhaps bring the other mods in. So, it just to take a moment to load here. There we go. And let's load up our save file once more. And I can already see that the mod has been set up. Well, that's nice. That is a huge improvement. Perfect, perfect. Yes, as you can see, we've got the beautiful menu enhancements there, which is going to be present all the way throughout the game. So let's go ahead and close this now that we know that that's working. And we'll start adding some others in. So this can take a little bit of time, especially for some of these huge files here. So you are going to need to have a little bit of patience. All these mods are now installed then. All I have to do is enable them. And for the time being, I've just stuck everything on top so I can make sure that everything loads correctly. One thing to note, there's actually two mods for the FMVs. I believe you only need to install one of them. So I've gone for version 6.30. I don't know, it's a higher version. Seemed to make a little bit more sense. So now with everything enabled... Let's see what we've got once we launch the game. I actually haven't done this yet myself. So, you know, I'm doing it at the same time as you guys get to see it. And immediately I can see we have the updated world map. If we head into Wutai itself, we can see we're going to have the machine learning in place here. In terms of all the new updated field models. And let's just visit some of these buildings here. You can have a look at these if you want to or pause the video. I'm just going to have a sprout around. And before we finish, there's other... One other thing I'm going to want to show you with these mods. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? And let's just head into the bar, shall we? There we go. Right, superb. Okay, now, we've updated all of the field models. We've updated, or rather the field backgrounds. We've updated battles and all of that stuff. But there's one thing else that this mod does change. And that is, of course, the FMVs. Now, the FMVs were absolutely fantastic and still are for Final Fantasy VII. They were like game-breaking when the game came out. But the 15 frames per second that they are animated in is a little bit jarring by today's standards. However, that is something that has now been fixed. So if we go to new game here, uh, just go through all of the new threat stuff. You're going to see, look how smooth this is. This is no longer 15 frames per second. I was thinking it was 30, but this is so buttery smooth, I'm actually going to think it's 60. Ah, oh, awesome. And it's not just the frame rate that's been improved, but the machine learning technology has been, play, uh, has been applied as well to the actual graphics to enhance them. As you can see quite clearly. Oh, that camera movement is so smooth now. Oh.
Yeah, what do you guys think of that then, eh? Boosted cinematic cutscenes for Final Fantasy VII, along with the enhanced field graphics and... Yeah, before I finish, let's just check out the battle graphics. Just a reminder though, these field models that you're seeing for the characters are actually part of Nino Styles mod. So that's a little bit different to the Suzuki mod that we've just installed. But the fact that everything works together is also a fantastic thing, of course. So let's go ahead and test fire all. See these new spell effects. Yeah, look at that. Boing. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful. That then brings us to the end of the guide. But if you have any problems or issues, please do share those down in the comment section. Or maybe over at the Kim forums. There's a wealth of knowledge over there to get you on your way. And thank you so much for stopping by, checking out the video. Don't forget to maybe stop by my live Twitch streams. I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy VII with the gameplay New Threat 2.0 mod installed. A lot of fun. So I'll be looking forward to mixing that in with these graphical updates from today. But I hope you all have a wonderful time modding your version of Final Fantasy VII. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.